Hey guys, I'm Anna and today I'm going to talk about cowboy boots because they are trending on TikTok and something that a lot of you guys don't know about me is that I was actually a horse girl growing up. I love cowboy boots. I've always had a pair. They definitely fit really different to pretty much any other boot I've ever tried. Even like compared to English style riding boots, they're pretty different. For this reason, I just want to explain about that and include some like fashion. They're not really real cowboy boots, but they might be more comfortable for you. If you just want to follow the trend, you don't want to spend close to $200 and you just want the look basically, because I think also that'll be more comfortable for you. I do really think that real cowboy boots are better and they're worth an investment, but they are not for everybody. I have a few other pairs that I might show you just for comparison, but I'm going to focus on the Justin brand, like traditional, regular old cowboy boots because they are always really highly rated, like way at the top for comfort. And they're kind of at the bottom price wise. I'm not too sure why that is, but they're one of the oldest and most common brands. So I think that in their production line, they can just bring down the cost per boot because the sale volume is so high. But it really, if you think about how much shoes cost now, getting a big boot with all this leather and stitching and craftsmanship put into it, I don't think that $200 is unreasonable, but I think it might be a big chunk of some people's wardrobe budget. So I do think that it's a consideration to make if you are willing to get good cowboy boots, go for it. I've seen a few videos where people are encouraging individuals to buy used cowboy boots. And this is a big no-no. And that goes really well in with explaining cowboy boots and how they fit. So I'm just gonna get into talking about that. If you look at this, you can see that it's wrinkled and it's got wrinkles even in the, the foot. And that's because cowboy boots mold to your foot. And they have a, a I think it's called a, a, oh, it's called a shoe box. So it's got hard stuff in the heel and in the front of the boot. And if you're getting cowboy boots and they don't have a box, those are not real cowboy boots because you cannot be around big livestock and horses that have giant hooves in those shoes. Basically because you're at risk of getting your, your foot crushed. So that is a really essential. And a lot of times the back heel is made of cork or some other kind of material that will also mold to your heel. So for that reason, you want it to be a snug fit, but not too big and definitely not too small. You could probably put inserts or work with a shoe that is a little big for you, but if it's too small, it's just gonna be a land of blisters and misery. So don't do that to yourself. The sizing, they usually have like nine and a half D or something like that. They also don't fit like the shoes that you normally buy. So you can purchase them online, but I would definitely go to a Western store and have them fit you for a few different brands so that you know how you're what size to get if you order them at home because i cannot stress enough that this is a shoe that needs to fit the right way and if they have molded to someone else's foot they are never going to fit you right so even if they're only like five dollars they're a waste of money unless you're going to put dirt inside and grow a succulent for your home decor you know you do not want that and uh you know if you're if you're buying them to walk around and you just like the style then you definitely can go with a fashion shoe and you might not need real cowboy boots but the reason why i would suggest that you get them if you're willing to spend the money is because they will fit you like they were made for your foot specifically and they last for a very long time. Most people, when they buy cowboy boots, 
they consider it to be like a lifetime purchase. And that is because that when you get the right pair, they wear really well and they last for a very long time. And like, for example, these ones, they are leather on the outside and lined in leather. They don't make your foot sweat. Like they're pretty well insulated. They're waterproof. They uh, don't have like material that starts to rip and tear and come apart from the boot. Now you may need to replace your heels, either the inside insoles or the outside, you know, the actual heel of your boot. And that, depending on what you're getting, can range from $35 to $80. But most people feel that it's worth it because like I said, it's the older and rougher it looks, probably the more comfortable it is. It's like molded to your foot, so you don't need to go through a new process of breaking in your boots. And it cuts back on waste, and it also supports cobblers who are always a small business. And I think that the actual shopping experience of going to a Western store the vibe of it is different. It's pretty cool. Some of them, like in Austin, Texas, they have this really cool, it's almost like an emporium where they have like every kind of leather you could think of. And the boots range from like, you know, the ones that are on sale for like around a hundred dollars up to thousands of dollars. And, you know, sometimes you can get bespoke cowboy boots that really are made for you. So it's kind of like when you're wearing them, you're dipping your toe into a whole subculture of America that is really tied to cool stuff like ranching and agriculture and pioneering the West. And like this shoe made it possible. So there are people that really love cowboy boots. Before I made this video, I looked up other other reviews and a lot of the prominent people that are re reviewing these shoes are men it seems like there are a lot fewer women who are actually talking about cowboy boots and how they fit and you know all this stuff it, most of it is like how to style them or i'm showing you my shoe but if you get these shoes and they don't fit the way they're supposed to, they're not gonna be the most comfortable thing you've always worn. They're gonna be horrendous. And a lot of people that decide they don't like cowboy boots dislike them because they bought shoes that didn't fit right or they bought used shoes that will never fit them, like ever. And so I think it's really important to buy the right boot or to just go with a boot that looks like a cowboy boot, but really isn't. And if you're not gonna go riding or be out on a ranch, you might not need the real McCoy, but if you want them or you are gonna need them, I really, really feel, even though I'm gonna link some shoes down below, I really do feel that you need to go to a Western store and that, you know, they're carrying, I looked, they're carrying real cowboy boots at like Nordstrom and they have them at Free People and like trendy stores. That is not where you want to get them. You want to get them from an actual boot barn or better yet, a specialty cowboy store where the people that work there know so much about these boots they will find you the right pair in the price point that you can afford. And they're gonna tell you exactly what you need to do to wear them in, take care of them, and have a good experience with this shoe and not the wrong one because they are an investment, but also anytime I buy something, I want it to last and to be able to enjoy the experience of using them and also buying them. Like I am someone who values the shopping experience. And in this particular instance, I think it's really important to support people who are making quality products in the US and who are keeping alive a subculture that could be very important to you depending where you 
live in the country. I know that as far as TikTok style, they are also really heavily tied to urban style. And I don't want to take away from that because I totally understand why this would be a great boot for someone who lives in the city as well. But basically what I'm telling you is look up a cool Western store that is driving distance from you, make a trip of it, get a lunch and really make this an experience or just order some cheap ones on Amazon and be done with it. But I do think they look cool and I really love this shoe. So I encourage you to get a pair. And if you live somewhere in the country and you know of a really cool boot store or a Western store, please leave the information of where it is down below so that other people can, can find a store and you can help them do that. I'll look up one in my area and leave it in the description box um, along with my Amazon links. I'm not sponsored in any way, but I just enjoyed making this video and I actually didn't end up showing any of the other ones. So if you want more videos on styling them, if you want me to do a brand review on a different boot, both of my other shoes are more expensive than these ones. So I just felt like this would be a better, a better price point and uh, cost value kind of shoe, but I did love making this video and I could make a lot more. So let me know what you thought. Of course, like, comment, subscribe if you want to, and I, I'll see y'all soon. Bye.